Hey everybody, today is March 30th and it's the Feast of St. John Climacus. So today we're going to talk a little bit about who St. John was and we're also going to look at the reading from the book of Isaiah. So who was St. John Climacus? A lot of our Orthodox saints have what seems to be a last name, but it's actually a nickname that describes something about them to us. So what does Climacus mean? It has to do with the fact that he wrote a series of sermons that collectively we call the Ladder of Divine Ascent. And this was a series of sermons that he gave to the monks at Mount Sinai where he was the abbot until he reposed in the year 603. We celebrated St. John yesterday with the Sunday of St. John Climacus, but we also celebrate him today. So next I'd like us to look at the end of the reading about from Isaiah. At the end of it, it says that there was someone called Hezekiah. And it says that Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. And later on, it says um, that Hezekiah prayed out to the Lord. And he said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in faithfulness and with a whole heart, and have done what is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will add 15 years to your life. I will deliver you and the city out of the hand of the king of Assyria and defend this city. So why am I focusing on this part of today's reading? First off, it mentions that Hezekiah prayed so fervently that he had tears. The church fathers often talk about the importance of tears of uh, them being kind of a second baptism for us, of being able to let go of what's on our heart and really truly reach out to the Lord in fervent prayer. And Hezekiah today is, is doing just that. He's praying so fervently that he's crying. He's letting tears out as well. And he's, he's begging of something from the Lord. He's not just going through a road, uh, just uh, these simple prayers, just saying them just to say them but he's really honestly meaning them. So what I'd like us to look a little bit at is the role of prayer in our personal lives. Right now we're at home, a lot of us, more cramped up inside than we ever have been. And it's easier to turn to Facebook, it's easier to turn to the news, it's easier to uh, turn to Netflix or something else to kind of dull out whatever we're feeling instead of really letting go of our feelings speaking them out loud to the Lord and letting go of it. So I, it's, it's easy to forget about prayer in times like this, but really we need to be turning even more fervently to prayer when we're feeling alone, when we're feeling frustrated, when we're scared. And there's a story related to this that I want to share with all of you. Since today is the Feast of St. John Climacus, I had the opportunity years ago in 2008 when I was studying abroad in Egypt to go to Mount Sinai. I went with my friend Mina and we stayed at the monastery for a weekend. When we first got there, I was exhausted. Uh, we had been traveling all the way from Cairo and the, the last thing I wanted to do was wake up the next morning and go to church. So I slept in Saturday morning, I relaxed and I saw uh, around the monastery on Saturday and then Sunday morning I went to church like I had planned. On Saturday, one of the monks had said to me, uh, his name is Father Justin, he's an American. He said, oh, so I'll, uh, on Friday, I, he said, so I'll see you on Saturday. And I said, no, Father, I'll see you on Sunday. And he said, okay. Um, so I went and I spoke with him on Sunday morning. And he said, Sam, where were you on Saturday? And I said, I was sleeping, like I said I was gonna do, because I was tired from the long journey. And Father said to me, Sam, you missed something very special. We took a procession all the way to the area where St. John Climacus lived. We had this procession because it was his feast that day. And because of sleep, you missed out on that. So he said, never let sleep get in the way of prayer. So for many of us right now, we might be turning more to sleep. We might be turning more to other things to dull out our feelings, to let, to kind of keep that out of our mind 
and it's easier when we're slipping a little bit into some sadness or some some fear to turn to sleep instead. But the story that I, I just shared with you from Mount Sinai reminds us to never let sleep get in the way of prayer, to never let all these other things and distractions get in the way of prayer when really what's most needful is to let out those feelings before God and let him carry that for us. So I hope that this is helpful for you to reflect a little bit on Isaiah and the message that maybe St. John Climacus is trying to teach all of us today. So I hope that you will never let sleep get in the way of prayer. I hope to see you tomorrow. Amen.